So this is my version of pumpkin soup. So if you think of pumpkin, we waste a lot of pumpkin that we buy in October after Halloween. So these pumpkins are from last year, October. I cut them in small cubes and I put it in the Ziploc bags. So I could use it for sambar or any other um, vegetable dishes that I make like vegetable korma. I add it with some little uh, lentil soup and things like that. I could use it throughout the year. So this video is going to show you my own version of the homemade pumpkin soup. So this is a crock pot that I had set it up for six hours. And in this soup, I have added a Ziploc bag, a small Ziploc bag of pumpkins. And then I soaked different colors of beans last night. So as you can see, there is black beans. Um, there is uh, pinto beans, like Mex some of us from the Mexican um, style. And then we also have a little bit of uh, uh, chana in there too, it's like the black chana. And then um, as you can see, this is a mixed lentil that I soaked it overnight. And I added a cup of that in here. And um, just a very small amount of spices is all you need. The unique specialty of this soup is coconut. Um, it's made in coconut uh, milk, unsweetened coconut milk. You can buy this carton from Sam's. It comes three in a package for $9.99. And then you add one carton of that based on the amount of soup you're making and uh, a pinch maybe this much of salt and some pepper ground pepper and then i added one spoon of beef base it's gluten free it's also coming from sam's um it's like a paste like instead of beef broth you add one spoon of that um to this soup and it actually blends it as you uh, stir it blends it and gives you an additional flavor. And the additional spices are garlic and herb, one spoon, and some basil leaves. And that's about it. And you just set it up and simmer it one, like every an hour or two, and then mash these pumpkins as it cook well, and then enjoy. It's like a semi-thick consistency now, as the water from the vegetables uh, which is the pumpkin comes out, it becomes a little bit more thinner. This is very thick um, compared to, um, you know, my original last um, pumpkin soup I made. This because um, it's not cooked yet. It, uh, we're just in the beginning of the process now. So once it's cooked, the, the, the pumpkins get mashed, you know, with a little um, potato mashing thing and um, you can actually mash it with your own fork or spoon like that and then um, salt to taste and enjoy this is a perfect fall winter soup